Now, for something uh, a little different, uh, well, since uh, I've been fixing the gearbox of my car for quite some time now, and uh, there is not a lot of time to to work with this, so I have to have this car is stopped for a lot of time now. So uh, a, a very important point about uh, when your car is stopped is uh, not uh, avoiding the battery to become spoiled because of not uh, being used. So that being said, uh, a colleague of mine has been studying this subject uh, <clears throat> about batteries and all that stuff because I, I did not uh, know about this. But uh, it seems like if batteries are not used and if they stay uh, stopped for some time, they begin losing uh, the voltage and uh, after a little bit of voltage, after a certain level of voltage, they start to become uh, spoiled and lose capacity. So, uh, the first thing I will be doing is measuring the, the voltage of my battery that has been sitting for some my maybe like three months but now because I've been disassembling the gearbox and this is only a hobby but uh, it takes a lot, a lot of time to to disassemble the gearbox so first thing I need to do is connect the multimeter which is uh, my, my multimeter is a uh, uni T uh, UT uh, 107 and uh, I like this uh, multimeter because it uh, for people like me that do not know a lot about uh, electricity because I only know, know the basics uh, I learned at, uh, at school. Uh, but uh, I'm always confused about connecting the leads of these, um, the leads to your multimeter because it, they have different positions. You need to connect them to different spots uh, in case you're measuring current or measuring difference, uh, the measuring voltage. So, uh, the uninteresting thing about this multimeter is that when you set it to measure. Uh, voltage, in this case it's 12 volt, uh, it has a dedicated setting for measuring 12 volt uh, um, batteries, in this case because this is an automotive uh, uh, multimeter. Uh, when I set it this way, uh, it sets, it shows me the two spots where I have to connect the leads. So, let's connect the leads. Uh, we have to connect the COM Come the black lead to the com part, like so, and the uh, red lead to the this one that is here, signed here. So the com goes here, the black lead goes here, the red one goes here. So let's just connect it. And now let's just measure the difference, the potential difference in this uh, battery. So, I'm not connecting the black lead and let's see the difference. So this battery is quite bad uh, at the time because it has uh, less than 12 volts. According to my colleague uh, Elder, Elder MEF, you, you can see his uh, channel on the on my feature channels list. Uh, he has a, he's a fanatic of uh, Renault uh, 19 cars and uh, he has a very nice uh, 16 valve uh, cabriolet. So, like I was saying, uh, he um, he says that uh, when you are uh, under 12.6 volts of uh, battery, the battery, it means that the battery is being spoiled now. So this it has it discharged beyond the level that uh, begins to spoil the battery. So let's connect the charger and uh, see if this improves. So this is the charger I'll be using. It's a CTEC MX5. MXS uh, 5.0 uh, by CTEC and it's a very sophisticated charger. I well, I don't know and I don't understand uh, completely what this does, but uh, it, uh, it it can re recover uh, batteries that is, have been damaged, uh, can re restore them to working status. And uh, this is this is my friend lent uh, this charger to me, so now I'll be connecting the leads. So. Uh, let's let's start according to the instructions. Let's start by connecting the red lead 
to the to the battery red lead then connect the black lead and now connect this to the to the power okay so let's plug this in and we have some lights here uh, automob automobile uh, battery uh, it's in car mo uh, battery charging mode so let's see it's working I think 